every year, more than 10,000 young people and adults visit a unique institution in Montreat to explore the heritage of the Presbyterian and Reformed churches and their worldwide missions. They are joined by more than 150,000 visitors online to the internet and social media sites of the Presbyterian Heritage Center. From the History of English Language Bible Display, which was the only place in the world displaying such a range, from Wycliffe manuscripts to original 1611 King James Bibles to modern editions, to an international symposium on the 500th anniversary of Presbyterian founder John Knox. To special events and displays on missions around the world. To Montreat history displays. And much more. The Presbyterian Heritage Center in Montreat provides a state-of-the-art learning center, museum, archives, and reference library that provides unique and often innovative glimpses into our collective history. The Heritage Center is the only institution educating young people and adults, as well as collecting documents, artifacts, photographs, video clips, and records of all Presbyterian denominations and Reformed churches worldwide. We all have a shared heritage which binds us together. It is an independent educational nonprofit dependent on tax deductible contributions from individuals, as well as donations from churches, presbyteries, and foundations. Programs include teaching scores of confirmation classes, conducting special programs reaching tens of thousands of teenagers and youngsters each year, conducting special events and lectures, recording oral histories. It began at a a uh, youth conference, a uh, convention that was held in Memphis um, shortly after Pearl Harbor, about three weeks after Pearl Harbor during the Christmas holidays. And over and over again, speakers would say, if only we had done more to bring the gospel to Japan, we might not have to send our sons and daughters to kill and be killed. And that was a very profound experience for me. And um, it was one of those times when um, there was a very strong prayer experience that this was what I was called to do. Supplying book authors, researchers, film directors, and genealogists the use of our libraries and rare audiovisual materials. Offering a reference library of more than 35,000 volumes, collecting and digitizing audio recordings from the 20th century, ranging from hymns. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. To sermons such as this 1942 excerpt from the Reverend Peter Marshall. To another maritime disaster, which some of you will remember. In May 1912, when the Titanic went down, I was a very little boy then, but I can well remember the special editions of the papers and the magazines with their heavy black borders, describing the loss of this magnificent new ship, which men said could never sink. This floating palace, was in collision with a floating mountain of ice. And icy knives ripped open a hull that was claimed to be unsinkable. And when the orchestra, which a few minutes before had been playing Strauss waltzes in the ballroom, gathered on the boat deck, and when the male passengers stood alongside to the cry women and children first, loading lifeboats, as many as could be lowered away. They waited patiently, hoping that there might be a chance of rescue, and then, when it appeared that none was likely, the orchestra began to play, and they began to sing. But what did they sing? They sang 
Nearer, my God, to thee, nearer to thee, e'en though it be a cross that raiseth me, yet all my song shall be nearer, my God, to thee, nearer to thee, nearer to thee. To Martin Luther King Jr.'s appearance, 50 years ago, at a Montreal conference. I give to you my personal faith now. I know that the days ahead are difficult. We still have some dark, difficult and agonizing moments. But I still have faith in America. I love this nation. And I believe that we are developing a coalition of conscience that will in the not too distant future solve this problem. I believe it to the bottom of my heart. Before the victory's won, some more will get scarred up a bit. And lastly, providing local churches with educational material for youth and adult classes on a variety of subjects. The Presbyterian Heritage Center in Montreat enables learning in a new way. It connects tens of thousands that visit us online or on site, both young and old, to their Presbyterian and Reformed heritage. It is a vital mission by a unique organization. The Presbyterian Heritage Center, honoring the past, informing the present, influencing the future.